Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel at Japanophile Journeys. Daniel here. Today, we're diving into the most affordable places to live in Japan as a foreigner. From bustling metropolises to charming countryside towns, we're exploring the hidden gems that won't break the bank. So if you're dreaming of experiencing the land of the rising sun without emptying your savings, stick around. First up, we're heading to Fukuoka, the largest city on the island of Kyushu. Fukuoka is renowned for its delicious food, vibrant nightlife, and laid-back atmosphere. But here's the kicker, it's also surprisingly affordable. Rent in Fukuoka can be significantly cheaper compared to cities like Tokyo or Osaka. Imagine finding a cosy one-bedroom apartment for around 60,000 to 80,000 yen a month. And the savings don't stop there. Fukuoka boasts an efficient public transportation system with fares considerably lower than in other major cities. Plus, the abundance of affordable eateries means you can enjoy delicious ramen, seafood, and local specialties without hurting your wallet. Culturally, Fukuoka is a treasure trove waiting to be explored. Visit the ancient Kushida Shrine, stroll through the serene Ohori Park, or immerse yourself in the bustling atmosphere of Canal City, Hakata. And don't miss out on the Yatai, Fukuoka's iconic open-air food stalls that serve up mouth-watering treats late into the night. Next, we venture north to Sapporo, the dynamic capital of Hokkaido. Known for its snowy winters, world-renowned beer, and delectable seafood, Sapporo offers a unique blend of urban excitement and natural beauty. One of the biggest draws for budget-conscious expats is the comparatively affordable cost of living. Rent in Sapporo is generally lower than in many other major Japanese cities. Think spacious apartments at prices that won't make your eyes water. Sapporo also boasts an extensive and efficient public transportation network, making it easy and affordable to navigate the city and its surroundings. From exploring the historic Sapporo Beer Garden and Museum to wandering through the verdant Odori Park, getting around is a breeze. And if you're a fan of winter sports, Sapporo's proximity to world-class ski resorts is a major bonus. All right, lads, moving on to the city of 10,000 shrines, Kyoto. Now, Kyoto might not be as cheap as Fukuoka, but don't worry, we're still talking budget-friendly here. The real beauty of Kyoto lies in its welcoming community, especially for us expats. Kyoto attracts a lot of international students and teachers, which means there's a pre-existing network of people who understand the struggles of adapting to a new country. You've got language exchange meetups, cultural workshops, you name it. It's dead easy to meet like-minded people. Plus, Kyoto's full of these hidden cafes and restaurants tucked away down alleyways. You can find some right bargains if you know where to look. Trust me, some of the best food I've had has been in those little back street places. And of course, you're in Kyoto. You're surrounded by thousands of temples, shrines and gardens. You could spend every weekend exploring a new historical site without spending a single yen. Well, maybe a few hundred for good luck. So, while Kyoto might not be the absolute cheapest, the sense of community and the sheer amount of free stuff to do make it a winner in my book. Right, on to the next one. Next up, we're diving into Osaka, often called the nation's kitchen. Osaka is known for its vibrant street food scene, friendly locals, and most importantly, its safety. Japan, in general, boasts incredibly low crime rates, but Osaka takes it up a notch. You can comfortably wander around at night, try those late night food stalls, and not have to constantly look over your shoulder. This sense of security is a massive plus for expats, especially if you're not used to living in a big city. It just gives you peace of mind, you know? You can relax and enjoy yourself without constantly worrying about your personal safety. And let's not forget about the cost of living. Osaka offers a great balance. It's cheaper than Tokyo, but still has all the excitement and convenience of a major city. You've got excellent public transport, affordable accommodation options, and let's be real, you'll be spending most of your cash on delicious takoyaki anyway. So, if safety and affordability are high on your list, Osaka should be right up your alley. It's a city that truly embraces you and your stomach with open arms. All right, now we're heading to Nagoya, the industrial powerhouse of Japan. While it might not be as flashy as Tokyo or Kyoto, Nagoya is a hidden gem for expats, especially those looking for job opportunities. Nagoya is home to major industries like automotive, manufacturing, and technology. This means there's a constant demand for skilled workers, including us foreigners. So if you're in engineering, IT, or any related field, Nagoya should be on your radar. Now, the job market in Japan can be competitive, but don't let that put you off. With the right qualifications and a bit of effort, you can definitely land a decent job in Nagoya. Plus, the cost of living is relatively lower compared to other major cities, so your hard-earned yen will go further. And hey, even if you're not looking for work, Nagoya is still a fantastic city to live in. It's got a unique blend of modern and traditional, with stunning castles, beautiful gardens, and a thriving culinary scene. So, whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting your career, 
Nagoya offers a promising environment to grow both professionally and personally. Give it a shot. You might just be surprised at what you find. All right, lads, Kobe. Land of the famous beef, stunning harbour views, and surprisingly, a haven for expats with families, especially those with young children to educate. You see, Kobe boasts a good number of international schools, catering to various curricula and budgets. So, if you're thinking of relocating with your little explorers, this could be your spot. We're talking established institutions with good reputations, offering globally recognised qualifications. It's not just about academics, though. These schools are like mini melting pots, giving your kids a head start in cultural understanding and language skills. It's like a cheat code for raising worldly wise kids in it. Plus, let's be honest, having a solid international community around you can be a lifesaver when you're a stranger in a strange land, eh? Now let's talk about something crucial, especially for those considering a long-term stay in Japan healthcare. And Hiroshima, my friends, is a bit of a dark horse in this race. Why, you ask? Well, it boasts a robust healthcare system with top-notch facilities and highly trained professionals. Think cutting-edge technology combined with that renowned Japanese efficiency. It's enough to make the NHS blush. But here's the kicker. It's surprisingly affordable, even without insurance. And believe me, coming from a country where a broken leg can bankrupt you, this is a breath of fresh air. Whether it's a routine checkup or something more serious, you can rest assured that you'll be well taken care of in Hiroshima without having to remortgage your house. That, my friends, is peace of mind you can't put a price on. Right, let's jet off to Naha, the vibrant capital of Okinawa. Picture this turquoise waters, pristine beaches, and a culture so unique, it feels like a different country. But, hold on, what about the language barrier? Can you really rock up to this island paradise without speaking a lick of Japanese? Well, my friends, Okinawa is known for its incredibly welcoming atmosphere, especially towards foreigners. There's a strong sense of community here, and you'll find plenty of support groups and resources to help you integrate. From language exchange meetups to expat communities, you'll find your tribe in no time. And who knows, you might even master a few Okinawan phrases while you're at it. It's like a tropical escape with a built-in support system. What's not to love? All right, mates, let's hop over to Kanazawa on the coast of the Sea of Japan. This place is like stepping back in time, but with modern day convenience and, thankfully, a very reasonable cost of living. Imagine strolling through well-preserved samurai districts and serene gardens, all without breaking the bank. Kanazawa is famous for Kenrokun Garden, often hailed as one of the most beautiful in Japan. You can easily lose yourself in its beauty, and the best part is, entry won't cost you an arm and a leg. And speaking of affordable beauty, Kanazawa is a haven for traditional crafts. You can find exquisite pottery, lacquerware, and gold leaf products at prices that won't make your eyes water. It's a shopper's paradise, especially if you're looking for unique and authentic souvenirs. But it's not all about tradition here. Kanazawa boasts a thriving modern art scene, with the 21st Century Museum of Contemporary Art being a prime example. This architectural marvel is a work of art in itself and houses an impressive collection of contemporary works. And for you foodies out there, Kanazawa's seafood scene is something to write home about. Fresh catches from the Sea of Japan are a specialty here, and you can find incredible sushi and seafood bowls at surprisingly affordable prices. So there you have it, Kanazawa, a perfect blend of history culture and affordability. It's a city where you can immerse yourself in Japanese tradition without emptying your wallet. For our final stop on our budget-friendly journey, let's head up north to Sendai, the largest city in the Toku region. Sendai is known as the City of Trees, and it's easy to see why. The city is filled with lush green spaces, offering a welcome respite from the hustle and bustle. But don't let the tranquility fool you. Sendai has a vibrant energy and a surprisingly affordable cost of living. Rent here is significantly lower compared to Tokyo or Osaka. And you'll find that everyday expenses like groceries and transportation are also more manageable. Sendai is a fantastic option for those who love to experience all four seasons. The summers are warm and pleasant, perfect for exploring the city's parks and gardens, while the winters offer a chance to enjoy skiing and snowboarding in the nearby mountains. Food lovers will be in for a treat in Sendai, which is famous for its yuton, or beef tongue. This local delicacy is surprisingly delicious and very affordable, making it a must try when you're in town. And for history buffs, Sendai boasts numerous historical sites, including the impressive ruins of Sendai Castle, offering a glimpse into Japan's feudal past. So, whether you're seeking natural beauty, cultural immersion, or simply a more affordable lifestyle, Sendai is definitely worth considering. By the way, I put together a free travel guide to help you on your journey. You can download it in the link below. And there you have it our whirlwind tour of Japan's most budget-friendly destinations. From the bustling streets of Fukuoka to the tranquil beauty of Sendai, Japan has something to offer every expat, no matter your budget. Remember, moving to Japan doesn't have to break the bank. 
Have you been to any of these cities or are you planning to? Share your thoughts, experiences or questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.